this is what people do when they want to write test in a circular form let me demonstrate it for you to see first of all we pick the test tool and after writing the test they will click on this icon over here and then select arc from here and as you can see it is now showing in the form of a circular form this is totally wrong because it distorts the test let's delete it this video i'm about to show you how you can write test in a circular form in the right way and then if you are a beginner and you don't know anything about the test tool you are going to master it by the end of this video if you have an idea about how to use the type tool already you can check the contents of this video and skip to the other part of the video let's get started to apply the test tool come down here and right click on this we have horizontal type tool vertical type tool horizontal type mask tool vertical type mask tool let's begin with the horizontal type tool so we click on it like that and you come to the canvas and you write whatever you want to write so brain tech brain tech graphics and you click on the check mark and you come down here you can change the fonts over here you can change the font style you can change the font size here yeah. and then the alignment tool can change it over here and this place is where you can change the way you want a test to show so let's click on it, the style of the test so that's how you can walk the test from none to something like a flag and to write in the form of a flag to okay when you want to show the character panel that's where you can see a lot of ways that you can manipulate your test so let's click on it like that for the character panel to show or you can come to the windows panel here and then make sure that the character is checked when it's checked the character panel will show so you click on it in addition to the tools available here you have this one and then this one the canning and the tracking where you can change the spaces between the individual test and the spaces between the lines of test but this one is where you can change the space between the lines of test and this one too a square can distort the test which is not advisable to do as a designer you can select a portion of a test to make changes to it so let's say this one brain text so i want to change something in the text so i want to change the color of the text then i'll count then select something like red it has changed and you can also make any change to where you select so you can change the font over there something different or you can change the font style or you can even change to make it all caps all caps italics make it bolder than the other test in the superscripts and the subscript and the underline that one to it cancel the test before we move on to how to write in a vertical way the shortcut for selecting the type tool is just press t on the keyboard to select the type tool and you right click to choose the kind of type tool that you want to apply on your work so let's choose the vertical this time around and you click on it and start typing and that's how it is being done you use the other manipulations same as we learned in the previous section this is the most important part of the video where you are going to learn how to write in a circle you are going to use this simple design over here you will need some guides so if you realize i'm not showing simply press on ctrl r on the keyboard to make it show uh, you can simply come to view and make sure the rulers is checked let's also make sure that the snap tool is checked you bring in some guides so let's click on new guide 50 percent okay for the vertical and the same thing for the horizontal the same 50 percent for horizontal so you click on horizontal and then 50 percent of the canvas after your guides come over here to the shifts right click on it and you select the ellipse tool make sure that the path is selected not the shape and you bring it to the center of the canvas so press on alt plus shift to create a perfect circle and you increase the size somewhere like here after this one you select the type tool and you make sure that horizontal type tool is selected click on it like that and you bring it to the path when you see that change in the icon you click on it like that and you start typing let's say brain tech graphics let's reduce the size then we select all and then we reduce the size to 12 
So to serve as a guide, you have to know the starting point and the ending point of the test. To do that, press on control on the keyboard. Click on this one to show us the starting point. So let's start here and then click on this one to show us the ending point. Let's end over here. It is centered because according to the alignment of the test, it is center aligned. You can left align it or right align it. We want to write something down here as well. So we first press Ctrl J on the keyboard to duplicate the layer. And then let's make the down one invisible. You press on Ctrl on the keyboard and then we bring the starting point somewhere here so that we can be able to send the ending point here to the previous starting point. And then we bring the previous starting point, the previous ending point. Drag it inside like that to make sure that the test comes inside the path. We want it to be on the same circle like this one, like the first one we created. Let's change the test. Click on the check mark. And then to make sure that it aligns with the printer graphics, we right click here and you select the path selection tool and you make sure that the subscribe now layer is selected. And you press on Ctrl T on the keyboard and you press on Alt plus Shift on the keyboard and you make sure that this part over here aligns with the top part of the brain tech graphics something like that and you click on the check mark very simple to do to hide your layers just Ctrl H on the keyboard if you enjoyed this video give it a like and let me know in the comment section whether you knew these techniques already and then don't forget to subscribe for more content like this if you want to learn more about photoshop and even graphic design in general click the video on the screen until next time guys quench not your creativity peace